So on to the next one. Again, we want to do the same kind of thing. And let me ask you guys a question. 1 third plus 1 third is equal to? How'd you do that? What'd you do? Right. What you did is you did 1 plus 1 over 3. Right? And that equaled 2 thirds. Yes? So then let me ask you a question then. If you went from here to here, is it OK to go from there to there? If I give you some expression, something plus something else, divided by a number, can you rewrite it as two different fractions? Yes. There's nothing mathematically wrong with that. That's mathematically equivalent um, expressions. So since my vision is to say sine of x over x, which I don't have, or to get one, there's no cosine, so let's just deal with sine of x. So then what I can do is break this up. Again, notice how I'm rewriting the limit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is 3x over x plus sine of 2x over x. Oops. Now, basically what you can do, there's another limit property here. So I rewrote this expression. Now what you can do is you can actually take the limit of both of these. So rather than breaking up, now you can take the limit of this expression and the limit of that expression. Obviously, guys, the x's divide out. So you're left with the limit as x approaches 3. Plus, here, what do I want here? What do I want to get? What do I need to evaluate this? 2 in the denominator. So I have to multiply by a 2 over a 2, right? But this 2 gets swapped up by the identity. So then I'm left with plus. 2 times the sine, now let's do it purple so you remember where it came from, plus 2 times sine of 2x over 2x. Shoot. Sorry. 2 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over 2x. So what I did is I distributed the limit. So I took the limit of both of these individually. Also, I took the 2 out, outside the limit, right? Because you can go back to your limit laws that we all wrote down. And you guys can see you can take out a constant. So what's the limit as x approaches 0 of 3? 3. Limit of sine of x over 2x is going to be just 1. 3 plus 2 is going to equal 5. Cool? OK. 